Alexa, how's the weather today in Hexham? In Hexham, England, it's 13 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 18 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. Thursday, 3rd of June 2021. I've just came on the A68 from Allensford Caravan Park. And as you can see, I'm heading up to Hexham. It's a lot cooler on the day, so uh, better for walking. And I wouldn't imagine there'd be too many people at the car park today. Should have no problems in uh, getting parked, but as per usual, it's uh, Greg's first. A couple of pasties for the dinner. Right, I'm on the A69 now, heading west. Traffic's quite busy today. The sun came out for a couple of minutes, but then it disappeared again. So, uh, I'm a bit more prepared today. I'm um, t t-shirt job at the minute, but uh, I brought my jacket just in case. I heard no mention of uh, rain or nothing. But uh, it actually doesn't look that good. I'm still about uh, a mile or so from Hexham and uh, we've got the road down to one lane and now we've got a traffic jam so no idea what's going on up ahead yet but um, we'll see when we we'll get there Anybody likes traffic jams, do they? Especially when you're not moving, it's even worse. Well, that took about 10 minutes. And I've made it up to Hexham to the turn off. Traffic in the mirror is way, way back. Two lanes into one makes a hell of a difference. Well, I'll make me turn off for Greg's. It's at the petrol station in Hexham. pulled over for a sausage sandwich here but I thought nah, I'll just stick with Greg's for the day. These little drains are not that like with uh, people driving over them. Right we're here. I wish I'd went to the sandwich van now. All Greg's had was uh, two sausage rolls. Well, I had more than two sausage rolls, but that's where I got two sausage rolls. So, uh, anyway, it's burned nothing. I'm at the river now. There's a few setting themselves up on the uh, on the kayak things and them things you stand on, whatever they're called, stand boards or something. bit um, cooler down by the river there's a little breeze but it's nice 
so we'll get a few miles in I hope to go up to the pub where I normally go and not many cars are there there was still plenty spaces so that was good when I come the other day I couldn't uh, couldn't get parked at all a couple playing couple playing golf here he's just teed off and I presume she already has because they're making their way up to the next hole there's a few people here it's not crowded or nothing so that's good I think these are in some kind of club. Must be, I don't know, Hexham, Hexham Ruin Club or something. They're having fun anyway, that's the main thing. Trees look lovely. The way they just hang over the path and when they're in almost full bloom. You can spot the uh, horse chestnut trees, like to this one here, with its uh, flowers on. Just seems like yesterday, since I was walking along here and all the kids was uh, throwing sticks up trying to get the conkers up the tree. Time flies very quickly, that's what she was. I'm almost at the railway line now anyway. Well I'm at the train line. The light up there is on red and it turns green or amber I think when there's a train coming. But there's a train just passed before I got here so I missed that one. But uh, anyway I carry on walking up this path. Hopefully get to a good spot when another train comes. See if we can get a good shot. Just walking along still along the side of the river, which is just over there. For the second time today with two different phone numbers because I blocked the first one. So beware of this. I've had two of the day, so I presume other people was getting them. Um, phone rings, you answer the phone. It's a recorded message saying it's from HMRC and you need to pay your taxes. Uh, there's a warrant out for your arrest. And you're going to jail. If you don't pay, press 1 to pay. That's the point where you actually hang up. So, uh, they'll try anything to scam money out here, that's for sure. Here's a train coming. Just coming up to the A69 and uh, just under here under the bridge if you remember from previous videos as uh, somebody here makes um, jaws of jam and stuff like that and you just give a donation I took a jar of jam the last time and I'll give a pound for it, don't tell you a little jaw. And uh, it was beautiful actually. So I'm just hoping um got some more jam today. Maybe not like maybe vegetables or something today. There's nearly always something in the box anyway. Oh well, there actually is no box. That's a shame. Probably, probably like uh, where I get my eggs from, from the farm. 
took the box away because people would be taking the jams and vegetables and not putting any money in. Yeah, that's what I imagine anyway. Unless they moved house or just didn't want to do it anymore. I don't know. But uh, I was kind of looking forward to see what was in the box. Because you see different things every time you come along. I'm about halfway to uh, the pub that I go to for a walk that is, <laughs> not for a drink. Yeah, it's warming up now though, which is nice, this is the railway line just here. Next trains I expect that to come this way to Wards's. I would imagine, but um, you cannot really get very close to the railway line along here. There's some steps up there, you can walk up the steps to the railway line, but I think it's private, so I don't think I'll be bothering doing that. There's a van just went up there, it said Men Menzies Distributor, that's on the side. And he went underneath the uh, 69. But uh, this track runs out there. So no doubt he'll be coming back. Because it turns into the footpath that I was walking on where I filmed the train. <sighs> it's getting warm now, are it? <sighs> Never seen anybody for ages. Actually. Well, there's a van. Blue vans mean business. That's what it says on the back. And it's just went under the bridge, and as I mentioned before, train just came this way. I think they're about every half hour, something like that. Give or take. So that's the second one I've seen along here. Must be busy that house. But uh, really good day for walking. Actually I'm going to have five minutes sit on this stone just so I can have a drink of water on that. Made it to the bridge where the boat side in is. Just crossing over now. There's always something lovely about rivers, though, isn't it? There's another train. Might catch one on the way back, who knows? If you remember me being here before, there was a guy up there on the corner where the river bends and he was standing in the middle of the river fishing and I took a video of him from here, a zoom turned out a good video of that one like just look to see if I can see any herons or anything because they're normally hanging around here but nothing in sight we'll have a look over the other side Nothing down here either. Not that I can see anyway. I bet there's a pathway up there somewhere or down there, along there somewhere. Lovely breeze here after coming along that track feeling red hot 
So there's a couple of seats outside this boathouse pub. I normally sit there for 10 minutes and just uh, relax. You can actually see quite clear in that water. The time is... Uh, oh, I'm not sure. My watch is busy doing how far I've walked. Um, wait, well, must be round about 12 o'clock. I would have thought. This pub looks shut. They sell nice burgers there. They do burgers outside on a barbecue. And they're lovely. There's a sign there, like actually says public footpath, water's meat, half a mile. It's pointing down there. All oh, right, along the side of there. I might have a little look after I've had a little rest in the shade here. There's a woman just came out here with a dog, so we'll have a little investigate before we head back. £1,000 penalty for your dog crapping. She was carrying a poo bag, so she's one of the good ones. Certainly not interested in a £1,000 fine. Mm, some steps here. Pathway goes along there through the field. Fishing only, no right the way, so you kind of go that way, I suppose. So we'll have a look along this way instead. See if we can get as far as the railway line at least. Nice gun somewhere you haven't been before. When you do them now, what's around the next corner? Not a very wide path as you can see, but uh, still, it's nice and breezy along here. And there's little pathways down to the river edge. I presume fishermen probably use that down there. This place here has got uh, hundreds of solar panels, I don't know what that's all about. <coughs> yeah, interesting anyway. Yes, a railway bridge that you can spot from the the road bridge. Metal one. Some heavy duty steel there, of course, it's gotta hold some weight. There's a house here as well. Free range chickens. Please keep your dog on a lead. Let's have a look down under here. Like a little beach. Whoop! Well, he slipped. I thought there must have been a path along here somewhere. There's a road bridge I was standing on before.
That was scary. Train flying across the top of your head. Somebody's went to the trouble of putting a seat here. <coughs> and what a lovely place to sit. Just looking at the river. There's a path along there by the way because some kids just went along. So I think sometime when I come again I'll go along that path because it's on my side of the river. And uh, it must make its way back to Hexham if it follows the river. Anyway, the uh, the little footpath is now in a in a proper track because there's a farmer's field here. So obviously the farmer comes along here. I'll have a bit wonder a bit further up and then I mean because the thing is I've got to come back the same way and that uh, can be pretty boring nice if you can do a circle which I'm sure I probably could right round there but I'm already a good few miles away from Hexham so this is just a little bit explore I'm sure it said on that sign back there, two waters meet. Um, and I'm thinking you've got a river running along here and you've got one running along there. There's a duck just having to lie down on the rocks there. So, uh, yeah, I'll go as far as that anyway and we'll We'll see if that's uh, what it's all about. This is where I've just came from. The path carries on that way. But it says private, no access. Fishermen only along there. So, yeah, two waters meet. That's exactly what it is. Never knew it existed. So here it is. This is the river I'm walking along. And if you look, there's a river coming from that direction. I would get a good drone shot from here. So uh, launch a drone here and take it over there. Looking back over here, be a good shot. So uh, I must remember that next time. Right, I'll have another five minutes just on this seat what somebody's put here. Lovely. So, two waters meet. Well, at the end it says uh, Junction Pool. So, two waters meet. It's really, really nice here. I'm going to definitely come back. Probably weekend weekend bad choice I'll not be here on my own at the weekend that's for sure um, anyway I'm gonna come back with my drone one of my drones I'm gonna actually sell two of them because I hardly fly them I've decided that they're going up for sale when I get back home just keep my newest one and I can send the drone way out there and look back here be great Right, as much as I could stay here for quite some time, I need to get back. But um, next time it's a flask of tea, some sandwiches, for definite. So, it's half a mile back to the bridge. But, um, I just, I, I wouldn't care, passed many times. i never seen the little sign what says... Uh, 
two waters meet. So there we go. Well, that's lovely. It's a lot breezy up down by the river, but uh, really nice place. Problem is, there's only one seat, so if there's people there, when you get there, you've had it. Luckily, I was on my own. As you could probably see, there was people across the across the river. Seems to be a little spot, which must be some houses there. You must be able to drive around there somewhere because there was a lot of little kids and that so the little kids didn't walk for so there must be some way of getting to where they were but uh, obviously that looks a bit more popular like back at the railway bridge and I believe there's a train coming I've heard a toot and a tone and it's coming high. See if I can get the other side of the bridge and catch it. Here it comes. All in a flash. Whew. I had to run a little bit. But uh, I caught it anyway. There's an owl's nest box. Wonder if there's anything living in it. Suppose you'd have to hang around in the night time to catch that. Generally a giveaway is uh, lots of crap on the ground. There's not a lot like, but uh, bits and pieces. Very quiet along here. But as I say, I, I can't see it being like this on a weekend. You're probably better off going to one of the other two spots where the people was. Preferably the one on the right hand side, so it would be good to find out where the path is on that side. I thought I'd seen a heron, but it was just some ducks flapping their wings. There's another train. A few trains a day. Hopefully I'll catch one going in that direction on my way back when I get close to the line. Back on the main bridge now. Uh, I'm warm now. So it's just a matter of finding where the other footpath is. That there, what you can see there, that's uh, where I showed you the sign saying no access, anglers only or something. So it's straight opposite that, where I was. I'll quickly cross over here. That's the footpath there. Up them stairs and down there, along there. And there's a the boathouse pub. Boat side, sorry. I keep calling it boathouse, but it's boat side. I'm just coming back uh, from the railway line, walking along the railway line just there. Back on the footpath next to the golf course, next to the river. Been a good walk, I enjoyed it. It's getting a bit breezy now, which is welcome. Because it was uh, quite warm. 
I had to wait a while to catch the train there. Well, 10 minutes or something, but uh, let's see how it turns out. We'll have a look now. It's kind of weird. The golf course has got nobody on it at all. And there was quite a few on when I come down at 10 o'clock or wherever it was. It's uh, 20 past 1 now. And it looks like they maybe will only play half a day. I don't know. But it's empty. There's only one girl up in front of me on this footpath. And then behind it. So I went dead quiet. We'll see how many cars are up there when we get up by the car park. There's even somebody walking across the middle of the green, so I can't so sure nothing's happening. There's not uh, there's plenty of parking spaces. So it's not that busy. The park bit down there look is heaven with people down there. But all this bit's pretty quiet. And I'm parked just a little bit further up. And uh, there was a traffic jam on uh, on the bridge just before there. So I thought, oh, I'll have five minutes sit. Before I pull away. But it seems to have cleared now, something must have been happening. So, uh, Right, that's the end of the Hexham walk. There's the traffic jam that I was in when I was on my way here. You can see how bad it is. That's going into Hexham. You can see why it took 10 minutes.